Hi, hello friends. Welcome to the channel. In today's session, we'll be seeing testing of materials unit one MCQs. That is introduction to material testing. Question number one: Solid materials are grouped into dash basic basic categories. Question option number A two, option number B three, option number C four, and option number D five. We usually say a solid materials is grouped into metals and non-metals, but uh, in our syllabus. It's given as solid materials are classified into three groups. That is metal, uh, ceramics, and polymers. So we are going with option number three B. Which of the following are the benefits of testing? Option A is given as it is cost effective. Option B it offers reassurance, and option C is given as safety issues can be identified. Option D is given as all the above. the benefits of testing okay what is the benefit of testing option a is given as it's a cost effective of course it's a cost effective uh, we will test a material in order to use uh, what aluminum we can use in for uh, for manufacturing a thing we are using an aluminum that is more than satisfied for that we are using a cast iron cast iron is much much costly than aluminum so for uh, in case of uh, for aluminum if you are using cast iron then it is uh, it's a serious problem but you are Identifying the material properties and using aluminium for that, then it is definitely cost effective. So option A is correct. It offers reassurance. Assurance is given while testing a material, so it's a definitely a benefit of material testing. Option B is correct. Safety issues can be identified. Yeah, definitely safety issues. It's a, it is oh good uh, good safety issues can be identified, such as you can when you are manufacturing a car, certain properties should be there for that material. car material car body material in that case when you are using a light material then in case of accident there will be serious injuries to the person who is driving it if you are using a well uh, well protected well uh, what in, when it stores an impact when the material can store the impact that material will, then definitely it will saves the people person's life so safety issue uh, safety issues can be identified So I'm going with all D, all the above. The types of material testing are. What are the types of material testing? Option A is given as destructive testing. Option B is given as non-destructive testing. Option C is given as material class characterization testing. Option D is given as both A and B, and option E is given as all the above. Material testing is of three types: destructive testing, non-destructive testing, and material characterization testing. So I'm going with option number E. All the all of these. Question number four. What are the factors to be considered during material selection? Option A is given as performance. Option B is given as corrosion. Option C is given as cost, and option D is given as all the above. Definitely, performance is a factor to be considered while selecting the material. Option B is corrosion. Corrosion is also a factor to be considered while selecting the material. Option C, cost is definitely a property to be considered while selecting the material. So I'm giving, uh, I'm going to option number D, all the above. Question number five, abbreviation of ISO is. Option A is given as the International Organization for Standardization. Option B is given as the Indian Organization for Standards. Option C is given as the International Organization for Standards. and option d is given as the indian organization for standardization the correct abbreviation for iso is the option a the international organization for standardization so i'm going with option number a what is the testing standard organization followed in india in india which stand uh, testing standard organization is followed option a is given as bis and option b is given as iso option d is given as and A N I S I and C, and option D is given as A S T M. In India, we usually follow B I S. So I'm going with option number A, B I S. The types of material classic characterization test is A microscopy test, B spectroscopy test, option C macroscopic test. Option D is given as both A and B, and option E is given as all the all of these. The material Characterization test is of three types. Option A is microscopy. Option B is is a material classification test of three types. One is microscopy. 
other one is spectroscopy and other, the third one is macroscopic test so i'm going with option number e all of these the microscopic test of the material characterization involves microscopic test is a part is one of the type of material characterization test which involves sub classifications that sub classification which all classifications falls under microscopic type this is a question asked option a is given as optical microscope option b is given as scanning electron microscope option c is given as transmission electron microscope and option d is given as all the above optical microscope scanning electron microscope and transmission electron microscope all the three categories falls under microscopic type so i'm going with option number d all the above question number 9 the spectroscopic type of material class characterization test involves option a ultraviolet visible spectroscopy option b secondary ion mass spectroscopy option c nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy option d none of these and option e is given as all the above except d the ultraviolet visible spectroscopy is a type of spectroscopic type a secondary ion mask spectroscopy is a type of spectroscopic type nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy is a type of spectroscopic type so all the three is correct so i'm going with option number e all the above except d there is the spectroscopy word matches with this spectroscopy so you can easily find that all the three are correct macroscopic testing involves option a destructive testing option b ultraviolet visible spectroscopy option c x-ray diffraction the macroscopic test involves the all the three destructive testing ultraviolet visible test spectroscopy x-ray diffraction so i'm going with option number d all the above the, uh, the three falls under macroscopic testing there are some other macroscopic testing but this is the important macroscopic testing question number 11 the advantage of material class is characterization testing a multiple properties is observed in a single test yeah it's an advantage option b is given as most of the test requires specimen preparation this is not an advantage most of the testing materials are uncommon this is also not an advantage option d volume vacuum is needed for many tests so it is also not an advantage so the first question the first option multiple properties is observed in a single test it is a it sounds like an advantage so i'm and is also the advantage of material characterization test so i'm going with option number a material multiple properties multiple properties is observed in a single test what is the purpose of testing what is the purpose of testing what should we do uh, we do a testing it is a question asked a to maintain the quality and consistency of the finished product option number b to avoid mistakes in the first stage of the manufacturing process option number c to prevent the failure in usage all the three sounds like the purpose of testing you can also think oh you can also pronounce it and whatever sounds like uh, purpose or something resembles relevant to the question asked you have to go for it that is the normal way for answering a mcq so the purpose of testing involves option a option b and option c so i'm going with option number d the three all the three the, to maintain the quality and consistency of the finished product to avoid mistakes in the first stage of the manufacturing process to prevent the failure in usage all the three are the purpose of testing so i'm going with option number d all the above question number 13 the major source of ndt test is what are the major source of ndt test the major source of ndt test is liquids radiation sounds definitely all the three are a major source of non destructive test so i'm going with option number d all the above question number 14 the static destructive test in testing includes tension test compressive compression test hardness test and the all the above definitely tension test is a static destructive test a compression test is also a static destruction test and hardness test is also a static destruction test so i'm going with the option number d all the above static destruction test and um, 
what is static distance test we will see in, that is we will be seeing in the next question that is the 15th question the 15th question says that the destructive testing is classified as what is destructive testing as i told you the testing is classified into three types destructive testing non destructive testing and the uh, option question number third is the metal characterization testing in that the first option that is destructive testing is of the, uh, how many types it is asked three types and option number a static testing option number b is impact testing option number c is cyclic testing so i'm going with option number d all the above all the three falls under destructive testing when the load is repeatedly varied question number 16 when the load is repeatedly varied in magnitude and direction then the test is called test option a is given as cyclic testing option b is given as impact testing option c is given as fatigue testing and option d is given as both a and c when the load is repeatedly varied in magnitude and direction that in the test is called cyclic testing impact testing comes under stat okay impact testing is another category of destructive testing but the question is repeated load is repeatedly varied so it, the so impact never the word impact or the never resembles is irrelevant to the question asked so option number b is neglected question number 16 the load is repeatedly varied it as it is similar to cyclic testing and fatigue testing so i'm going with option number d both a and c the testing in which the load is applied gradually is called as static testing impact testing uh, cyclic testing option d none of these the testing in which the load is applied gradually in a when the load is applied gradually it is now called as impact testing impact is sudden 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 application of force is called impact and cycle means repeatedly repeatedly you are giving some force in varied magnitude or same magnitude then the test is called as cyclic or fatigue so i am going with option number a static this is the definition for static testing the testing in which load is applied gradually is called as static testing question number 18 the test in which is given specimen is subjected to shock loads is called shock is sudden loads i told you sudden load option a is given as static testing option b is given as impact testing option c is given as cyclic testing and option d is given as all the above i told you sudden loads application sudden loads that is a shock loads so i'm going with option number b that is impact testing dash is an example of cyclic testing option a is given as fatigue test option b is given as impact testing option c is given as charpy testing and option d is given as hardness test we saw cyclic testing is uh, in the side uh, fatigue testing is a part of cyclic testing so i'm going with option number a is fatigue test what is a example of impact testing impact means you are applying a sudden application of force you are giving you are giving sudden application of force option a charpy test option b iso test option c drop ball option c drop drop dart option c instrumented puncture testing charpy test will give a sudden impact of the intender or the iso testing also similar one will be doing the same equipment that is the impact testing machine option number c drop ball also same you are give in that experiment also will be giving a sudden impact through the ball with that ball we are in drop dart dart is of heavy weight and you are giving a impact with it to the specimen in instrumented punching machine also you are giving a punching using impact that is application start an application of force so i am going with all, option number f all the above question number 21 the example of static test is what are the example of static test is this is the question asking to question number 21 option a is given as tension test option b is given as compression test option c option d is given as all the above the tension test creep test and the compression test all the three falls under static test so i'm going with option number d all the above Question number twenty-two. The advantages of non-destructive testers. 
the equipment is portable option a is the equipment is portable option b the result is quick and reliable option c less wastage of specimen and option d is given as all the above so all the three uh, sounds like an advantage and all the three are the good advantages of a non distracted testing so i'm going with option number d all the above the advanced non distracted testing includes option a non uh, electromagnetic testing option b laser testing methods option c radiographic testing and option d ultrasonic testing in all the four fields ndt has advanced techniques so i'm going with option number e all the above question number 24 the advanced ndt techniques in electromagnetic testing includes option a eddy current testing option b magnetic flux leakage option c both a and b and option d none of these the advanced ndt techniques in electromagnetic testing electro the word electro resembles current eddy current current and magnetic that is magnetic flux so both a and b are electromagnetic testing so i'm going with option number c both a and b the advanced non distracted testing techniques in radiography testing includes option a computer computed radiography option b computed thermography option c digital thermography and option d all the above all the three are advanced techniques in radiographic testing the word radiography thermography and radiography all are the three comes under radiographic testing graphy means yeah radiography that comes under radio we using radio waves so radio means uh, yeah radio waves that is uh, you are using you are using radiation so the all the three computer radiography thermo uh, computer thermography and digital thermography falls under thermographic testing as you are using radiation in the three processes so i am going with option number d all the above hope you like the video you have gained lot of knowledge in the testing of materials i think If you like this uh, video please subscribe to the channel for more videos and please like it and share with your friends thank you bye